The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, I'm looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I want to. Boy, my voice is shot, folks. I've posted the chart here. I hope you can see it. It's a high yield bond ETF junk bond. Bond, okay? The reason why I'm bringing it to your attention, two reasons. Jim Bartoleone brought this to our attention uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, well, it's actually one week ago today. And uh, we talked about this as a, a descending triangle, very, very bearish pattern. But we had one of the specialists on Bloomberg today describing why she was the most bullish. I'm not, hey, listen, I'm not trying to badmouth anybody, folks. I just don't see any bullishness on this chart. I'm 100% against what she's looking at, but she could be correct. She was basing it on the value of the high yield junk bond versus the others. I don't know exactly what that means, but anyway. As I looked at this chart, I, uh, I said, well, if it can get above uh, 76, yeah, I could see that maybe it'll be a breakout to the upside, but everything is telling me here that it doesn't look that good. If we take a look at this on a daily chart, it may look, a, even, even looking at it on the daily, you can see that we have uh, lower tops uh, for quite a while, and uh, bottoms have been basically unchanged, so we are in that real tight triangle, but I certainly don't see anything bullish about this. I'm, I Believe me, folks, I make enough mistakes in this business that I'm not bad-mouthing her. I just disagree with what she's looking at. She made a great case for it fundamentally, but frankly, that's what uh, we're taking a look at. So let's look at get rid of that one and want to talk to the one that is really important because we got the Fed out there today, and that's going to be a big one. So let's look here at what we're doing. As you can see here, we hit our 61% retracement right on the money there at 1958.80. The high was 1959.90 in the gold. Started to move down a little bit. Now we have our stop at break even now. So for rally $6 when the Fed's out there, uh, that'll be it. We'll just move on uh, to the next one. Okay, now let's take a look at the bonds because this is where the real money is and this is where they're playing the game, okay? I'm hoping that everybody can see this chart. Uh, it is a four-hour chart in the bonds. I'm going to check to see that everybody can see it. Nobody's telling me anything. So maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. We're going to get it up here. I'm going to blow it up now because there's where we were. If you remember, we were talking about this number here at 1803. Yesterday, we got to 1804. Today, we hit 1803. We hit the exact number, and we've had a pretty good rally. Folks, the problem is... This is the bond market, and this market is incredibly bearish. I mean, uh, I, I hate to say how bearish it really looks because I'm just looking at the technicals. I'm not looking at the fundamentals. It just looks like interest rates want to go higher. Now, if we look at this on a weekly basis, you're going to see here, just get this up here. Remember, we've been bearish on this for two and a half years, folks. The real bearishness was right here when we had the 135 pattern. This was a weekly one, three, five pattern. Then we had another three, eight, two. Look at this right here. Then you had the ABCD down. Then you had the little ABCD up here at the three, eight, two of that one. And look where we're headed, folks. We're going to 105. There's a long way down. I mean, there's minor support in here, but I mean like minor, 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 minor. So keep in mind, interest rates are probably going to go higher. That's what it looks like from the cheap seats here in Tucson, Arizona today. Okay, so let's move on here. And talk about the uh, stock market because I wanted to show you what happened to stocks this morning. As we were here this morning, you can see uh, we've been bearish. This, you know, we hit that beautiful ABCD up there at 4565, 4557. We're now below that by a little bit. But you'll notice here this morning after the market broke, you'll see that it went right up to a perfect 382 retracement, broke again, made another 382 retracement, and now we're in the midst of a little bit of a rally here. Now, the trading gods, if they're really good, what they're going to do is they're going to give you a chance 
to get a nice little 382 rally in here again today. And that's up only seven points from where we are right now, for heaven's sake. So I'm going to put that here on my limit minder to see if we get to this 4480 level. And I think we could possibly do that. Now, looking on a very, very short term basis, and we're going to look at this short term because I know there's a lot of folks out there. We did make a nice little bottom right here. You can see the double. There's your first eight. Well, let's draw them in so everybody can see what we're looking at. Here's your first A, B, C, D swing right here. All righty. Then you have the second one right behind it. And guess what that makes that one, folks? That makes that drive one, drive two, drive three. And there's our rally. And it looks like we might even be able to get up there at 44.79. Maybe the Fed will say something like, you know, we're done raising. And they could. I don't think they will, but they could. Maybe that'll change everything. Who knows? Okay, now, the next one we want to take a look at here is the, uh, hold on one second, we did the bonds, okay, is the euro. And here the euro, when the news came out, you'll see where we were related to the 61% retracement of that whole move. Remember, this is when Peter from Palm, uh, <laughs> from Park City called us down here when we were right at this level right here. This was the daily. Now, look, we made a perfect 61% retracement up here, folks. Just got, you know, had everything in there that you could possibly want. Let's just let's just look at the ABCDs. We can draw them in. So those of you that don't believe in ABCDs will have something to think about tonight. There was your ABCD right here. And right behind that was this one right here. And that was right there. So I don't know, maybe they work sometimes, I don't know. But anyway, that's what's happened. Now what we got to do is we got to see if this is for real. And I think that it is. What is going to be the pullback on this euro coming into this level right up in here, okay? So we've already made the 382. We're trading uh, almost exactly at it right now. We have a tiny, tiny, this is a 13-minute chart, so it's a little tiny uh, three drive here, not worthy of it, but we want to see a nice ABCD somewhere down in this area right here. There's a really good chance that this euro has changed. <clears throat> the reason why we say that was based on, if you remember, the weekly, because there was our number right here. That was 10 pips from where we thought it could go to. Maybe it's going to go down and get those 10 pips here at 61.11. The low was 21, and now we're still... It was still 75 handles, uh, 75 points higher than that. So we've been down 10 weeks, just like the dollar index was up 10 weeks. So that's holding in there, you know, relatively well. So I, I hope that uh, helps you with your analysis of what we're looking at here today. Now, we don't always know what's going to happen next, but the patterns will give us an indication. Yes, they do work, but not all the time. And the secret there is not all the time. It's all based on probability. And you want to have those probabilities working in your favor. That's what the real beauty of pattern recognition is when you start to look at this. Now, what I'm going to do now is to put these uh, charts up here so that we can uh, – I want to get the windows lined up so that I can uh, put them up. And I'm missing one. So what I wanted to do <clears throat> is I wanted to add – we'll probably do it when we come back from the break. I want to add the, uh, the uh, wheat market – to the next part of the analysis and we'll be right back folks <clears throat> Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education investors. 
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I put up a chart here of the December wheat. This is a weekly chart. As you can see, we thought it was going to hold down there at around 575, uh, went to 572, then we rallied up to 605, and it's now down 20 cents from that level. So what we're going to do, just for kicks and giggles, we're going to take it down to an hourly chart, and I just want to show the move that we've had. There's a, you can see, oh, just a second here. You can see the new lows that have just been made here. They've come down. Uh, that's what I'm talking about today. You'll see here that we came down and made a uh, basically a, you'll see the 61% retracement was just a tiny bit off from there. You see by about uh, about four cents. And then we had the rally. You see this rally right here, folks? This is the important one because here's what's happened since that rally occurred. You'll notice this is an hourly, so you can see the multiple ABCD patterns forming. Okay, now, you see this little number right over here? You'll never guess what that is. Yes, Johnny, I see it too. And it is 0.382, and there it is. Now we've got something to work with, folks. We've got an hourly chart, so we're going to have one full day's action right here. Very good swings. Comes all the way back down, rallies right back up, and then back down again. The best way to see this is to move over to a little shorter time frame. Move it over like this. And this is what I try to do for a living each day. I'll say you can see what happened. There's your there's your big A B C D right up here at 93. The market comes down. You don't believe these numbers if you think these boys at uh, BlackRock and those places don't. But there's your 78% on, on the downside. Here's your 78% on the upside. Goes through it by two cents. And now look where we're coming into right now. So we're going to have something to look at here. Not today. But tomorrow, because what we're going to be looking at is we're going we have a double ABCD, no question about that. There's your there's your first ABCD pattern right there, right on the money. Okay, that was a seven eight six off of that. Then we come down. We got another move up here. Now we're doing with six one eights. Okay, so let's get back to where we want to be, which will be when the fat lady sings when it makes this leg right here, right down here. Okay, and then we're going to move this over just a little bit so we can get all the lows in. Because there's where we were just the other day. So we should get down here one more time. 
down here to 582. That should be uh, today or tomorrow. So watch the wheat at 582. You know, here's a double possible double bottom in here, but that's what we want to be looking at. There's where your risk parameters come in, and it gives you a really good chance to decide whether you want to be a buyer or seller. But let's get back to where the fat lady sings, and that's up here in this bond market. Hey, we're not too far away from the old stop and pee. We've only got another uh, another four cents, and we'll be up to the old 382. I wonder who'll be selling there. Hmm. We'll find someone, I'll bet. Uh-huh. Okay, let's move on here. And we're going to take a look at this wheat one more time. This is what we're looking at here. One more ABC down in this area. Remember the low we had. we got to go back to the hourly chart to remember the low, which was way back here. Remember this low right here? So we're going to take this low out, okay? And we're going to come right down here. So 577 is where you want to be looking to be the buyer of the wheat, okay? I'm just going to draw this in so you can see it. There's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg right here. There's your 577 coming in. Look, there's your 1.618. There's your 1.27, 578. You buy it at 570. Uh, let's say, well, 577 is a number. We'll buy it at 578 and a quarter, and I'd risk uh, 8 cents. So your stop would be 570. Uh, well, that's even too much. I'd say 572, risk 6 cents. 572 would be the stop if you wanted to uh, to look at that, because that, that would be a really nice setup. Uh, that would be best if it did it tomorrow, because it's 1030 almost here, well, 130 in New York. So I would say 578 is what you want to be watching, but I want to put my uh, limit in here so I know where in the heck I am, and then that'll give us a rough idea of where we are. Okay, now let's move back and talk a little bit more about the uh, bond market, because that is the one when the Fed comes out, and they do say something. Let's get up here to get this four-hour chart in here because this is a really big thing here. And the whole world has seen this now. See, because we've hit we've hit it yesterday was 04. Today the low was 03. The rally back, all we've done so far today is rally back, I believe, about 61% retracement. Yeah, uh, yeah, here that's just a little bit more. There's your high, there's your low. Yeah, just a couple ticks more than the 61% retracement. But if the Fed comes out and drops a bombshell, like raise rates a half a percent, uh, and they could because they can do whatever they want to, and they usually do, most probably if they raised a rate, it would be a quarter percent because they know how the people in the stock market react and they don't want to scare the bejeebies out of them unless they're on the short side of the market and then they can scare whatever they want to, folks. So remember, these the Fed people are out there trading this market just like we do except that they have a slight advantage of what these patterns, uh, well, I'm sure they look at the pattern. Well, maybe they don't at all. They've got all the fundamental information that they have. But this is the key level here. That's why you hear, see this little red dot here. That tells me that when that gets below that, that tells me, and when we close below that, that tells me heading down to uh, 105. And that's $13,000 from where we are now, folks. That means rates will be substantially higher than 5%, probably closer to 55 or 6%. And I believe that's where they're going to be going, but that's still a little bit early in the game. So we're going to have to wait and find out if that is uh, going to be the case. So I hope that information is helpful to you. Like I mentioned before, Peter Elides will be our guest tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, I'm, trying to, uh, I'm trying to get uh, Jeff Huge as our guest, but he uh, still has the flu. And by the way, if you're thinking of Tom Hugard today, make sure you think of Tom Hugard today because today is his birthday. Happens to be the same birthday that my mother had, September the 19th, and my very dear friend, John Raffoni, who passed away uh, two years ago, almost to the day, and uh, left an incredible fortune to his family. Far, so much bigger than whatever I thought it was, folks. It was really funny. I'd known John for, he was one of the first people I met in California. And he was the broker for uh, three cities there on the Central Coast. And I was at Drexel. Well, that was, I was at Illili first and then at Drexel. And we did a lot of business together with gold and stuff. But um, John's business was real estate. His great-grandfather was one of the founding people of the little town of Guadalupe, which is where Richie Valens, if you remember, the guy that was killed in, back in February of, of uh, 1959, you know, with the Big Bopper and Buddy Holly. Uh, Buddy Holly. Um, uh, he was a singer, 
and uh, and he he was born in Guadalupe in one of the little tent cities, but uh, John's great grandfather started all that, and he had all that land. I knew he had the land. I didn't know how much it was and how much it was worth, and it had oil on it, and it was a lot, folks. <laughs> I mean, it was so much I I can't even tell you, but it was over a hundred million dollars <laughs> that he had left the family. All of us in real estate. The funniest part of this is, I mean. He was like a brother to me. His whole stock portfolio was $75,000. And every stock that he had, and he died two years ago, yesterday, uh, every stock was losing. <laughs> anyway, that's neither here nor there. Stay tuned for Peter Lighty's 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Peter Lighty's in the house. Peter, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Larry. How about you? Ah, still living the dream, Bell. I can't believe we've been doing this for so long and still loving it. You know, it's uh, we've been blessed for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'll Peter, go along with that. Tell me something, my friend. You posted a chart. Usually, I'm pretty good with some of these things, but this one has caught me by surprise. I looked at. I think I know what it is, but you want to tell the folks what you're looking at here? Yeah, I'd love to do that, Larry. This, I'm fascinated by this chart because of the way it turned out. I got an idea several weeks ago, back uh, around. 
I think it was around June or so, when it appeared once again that there was great speculation in the market. And I said, I know there's different ways of measuring that, but probably the, one of the more speculative indexes is the NASDAQ 100. This includes most of the high-tech stocks that are in the NASDAQ. And uh, so I said, we've got enough history of that to go back, I don't know, 25, 30 years. What if I compared that NASDAQ 100 with the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which is you know, one of the best-known market averages going back to the 1890s now? We don't have that kind of data on the NASDAQ, but what if I divided the NASDAQ 100 by the Dow Jones Industrials and came up with a ratio? And let me see if that ratio would tell me anything. Well, lo and behold... Um, when when you look at this chart, Larry, you'll notice in the right in the middle of the chart, about in the bottom third, I've got some that said forty five percent. I see that. Yes, that line, that horizontal line going across at forty five percent is the only times in history. And when I say history, we really have history going back. It says ninety one at the beginning of the chart, but you can go back another fifteen or twenty years from that, and and you'll see. The only time we have reached the 45% ratio of NASDAQ 100 divided by Dow Jones Industrials was in March of 2000, November of 2021, in July of this year. Wow. So I, now before, I, I came up with this ratio before July, but imagine the two times that it hit there. I mean, the March of 2000 was probably the end of the greatest speculative takeoff in the, in the history of U.S. markets. Doctors and lawyers were quitting their jobs and trading stocks thinking it was mm -hmm. the easiest thing in the world to do. That was so the dot-com era, right? There was what? That was the dot-com era, era, wasn't it? With That's the... correct. There was the dot-com yeah. craze. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Dot-com craze. And now... What do we have to take its place? Well, the AI craze. Artificial yeah, intelligence sure. is going to change the world. And boy, the market will never be the same again. And you can't use your old valuation formulas. And you, you won't be able to stop this market. I doubt if we'll ever see another bear market again, Larry. I mean, with <laughs> artificial intelligence, are you kidding? Yeah. Come on. In the meantime, yeah. take a look at this chart. March of 2000 for yeah. one week. It got above the ratio, got above forty-five percent, and that was in within one week of the high that occurred in March of two thousand, from which the Nasdaq one hundred came down eighty-three point five percent. I I remember that very well, Peter. Now this is another way of expressing overvaluation. Is that correct? Uh, yes, overvaluation and speculation. Yeah. Okay, and speculation too. Okay. Okay, that's really cool. Yeah, that's very good. Now, just an up-to-date uh, on the markets. We've had a high that you know, came in here uh, back on September the uh, 1st, and then we had a pretty big break into the 7th and the rally. Now we started to break down again. That's one of the most bearish formations I've seen in a long time, Peter. Am I correct on that? That does look pretty nasty? Yeah, well, I am I have gotten very, very bearish in the last few weeks. I mean, I've been bearish since... We reached this ratio again in July. I got very bearish once again. Mm -hmm. But then we had a nice little decline, but a rally back almost back to the, to the July highs again. And uh, I'm not an Elliott Wave guy, Larry, but I... No, I'm not either. Acquainted, yeah. I'm acquainted with the theory. And uh, you can make a very strong case that we did five down into the October low of last year. We did an ABC up into the July highs. And now we've done a one down and a two up. And even if you don't follow Elliott Wave, most people have heard of a three, a wave three. And wave three is what we're getting right pig. now. And, and that's where the acceleration to the downside theoretically will come in. Again, yeah. that's Elliott Wave, and I'm not an Elliott Waver, but I, I yeah. sure as hell can read the tea leaves here. Yeah, I, I looked at Elliott Wave years ago when John Hill started me looking at this stuff back in 1970. And uh, frankly, I, I just see all these little wiggles and stuff. And the only thing I don't like about the 
Elliott Wave, I see the letter occasionally, they never say buy here or sell here. They just say it may do this, it may do that. And you and I are not in the may do business. We got to do because yeah, yeah. We and have not to only that, I'm, I mean, I guess my major complaint about it is the fact that it is it's subjectivity. You know, you yeah. can get five so-called Elliott Wave experts, and they'll all give a different count. So how, yep. I don't know how helpful yeah. that can be. You know. Yeah, I'm the same way. I, I'd rather have two people agree on something than five people can't agree on anything. Listen, Peter, I want to thank you for being our guest today. I hope to have you on again in a few weeks. And you're staying healthy. Everything is good? Uh, never felt better, Larry. How about good, you? Me too. Uh, same way. I've been pretty lucky. Uh, you're just a couple years older than me, but we've known each other 60 years. Can you believe that, my friend? Oh, my God. That's hard I know. To it's hard to I can remember... When I first met you, it was through Eddie Horwitz, and of course you were you were uh, doing your uh, gig as you, you you played the piano and the clarinet and you sang and stuff. I remember you were really the the uh, uh, well, I guess you'd call you the the cosmopolitan man of Los Angeles when I when I first <laughs> met you many many years ago. So anyway, listen, thanks yeah. for joining us, my friend, and be safe and uh, tell your lovely family. I says, does George still work with you, or did he? What whatever happened to your son? What uh, my son George is working for Bloomberg in New York City. Very good. Will you do me a favor, Peter? Sure. Will you tell them to go back to the old format for Bloomberg TV? They, they've got so much stuff on there, you can't read any of it. It's too small. They've got like 10 different boxes, and it's, it's way too small, and it's not being used by very many people. You know, I've been in this look what these people are looking for, but they've got seasonals and all kinds of stuff, but it is the most discouraging thing for me, and I don't wear glasses, and the only way I can see it from 30 feet away is to put my glasses on before I could do it without the glasses, but complain to him about that. I mean, I don't know. I yeah. asked Tom O'Brien I don't to know do if it. George has anything at all to do yeah, with Bloomberg I TV, but I'll definitely tell him that my <laughs> buddy Larry Pesavento yeah. complained about the way you guys are presenting your data on it's television now. To do something much. about it. There you go. Hey, listen, buddy, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, I talked to uh, um, Eddie's wife, Bev, just a few days ago, and she said to say hello to you. So if you get a chance, give her a call. She likes to hear from yeah, some of Yeah, I do give her a call friends. once in a while. I think about her all thank the time. You. you bet. Nice Peter Lighty, you, Larry, you're a stand-up guy, always. and uh, we really want to thank Take you for care. being our guest today. Okay, buddy? My pleasure. Bye-bye. You bet. We'll be right back, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. folks i posted the chart of the e-mini s p we just hit the uh beeper went off twice at uh, 44.79 which was the 382 retracement of the high from yesterday believe it or not was able to rally 17 points which is pretty good coming off the bottom so i hope that makes sense to you that it hit that now on a trade like that someone asked me the question how much money would i be willing to risk there well the harmonic number in this s p this since it first started trading yeah but i'm not seeing anything on my screen all i'm looking at is the i don't have my screen up but if i put the screen up i guess i could see it so yeah okay so that's what we're that's what we're looking at here anyway the harmonic number is 5.5 if you went back and look at every swing major one from uh the start in april of uh April 16th, 1982, 5.5. When it first started, it was 3.5 to 5.5, but 5.5 is the harmonic number. Anyway, that is uh, basically three off the bottom there, about 17, so you're pretty much spot on. I would not risk more than one harmonic number, which is five points. So if it went to 44.85, I would be out of that trade with a, a six-point loss and say uh, goodbye. So... But right now, so far, it's starting to work. I don't know if it's going to continue or that, but we're going to look at something else here right now that is uh, also in play. Here is the heating oil, folks, on the weekly chart. Now, what I'm going to do now, you can see here, this is a weekly. We hit that weekly, then we backed off last week. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go up and we're going to put the daily up. And you can see here what we've done here. Let's get this up right here. Okay, there's that. There's the 61% there's the retracement on the weekly. You see that? That was a three drive at the weekly. Then it went from uh, 51 all the way down to 27, dropped 15 handles. So we're going to look at where it is right now. So for that, we have to go to an hourly chart. And here's where we are right now. And that's why my beeper just went off. I want to get this up together. Just let you take a look at it. Because here's where we, there was the big number right up here. 618 on the long-term weekly. Then we come down. You can see we've made on the way down. We've had several nice ABCD patterns. There's one right here. Goes pretty much where it should be. And what we've done so far is we've had a rally back from the high. Try it again, cowboy. <laughs> Hold on here from the low to the high. And there it is right there. We just hit it just, a, just about an hour or so ago. We hit the exact... 61% retracement up here at uh, 351.50. The high was 351.20, missed it by 30 cents, and now it's 30 cents below that. And we we're now we're starting to hear the bell ring in the old S&P. Let's see how much the old cowboy is going to have to risk to see if I'm wrong. Let's get this up here. It won't have to take long. Hold on just a second. Get this up here so we can all see. The market go against me a little bit, and that's all right. That's okay. I have to take losing trades occasionally. But there there was the number. It went above it. Now it's going above it. My stop is right there. 
So that's not a big deal. So I'm just going to move it where my stop should be, folks. I, I, I was short a bit of this on the way down. I didn't cover here, but I did cover pretty good. So uh, all I'm saying now is it should be – I want to verify this number just to be safe because when I do too many things at once, I am correct because there was our high – in the overnight market right here at 10. Remember, it never made the 382 on the big move, but you can see from your high down to your low, that does come in here at 479.90. I sold the 479. It's now 479, 482 and a quarter. My stop will be right above here is where I'm putting. And I frankly, it doesn't make any difference to me whether I get stopped out or not. It's been a good day and I don't even... Don't even worry about it. So, But that's that's the kind of trade that I'm looking to do, and I'll do that all day long. If I'm willing to do a, a 382 like this one, okay, and if there was – this dismissed the 382 by one point on this one, and if I'm looking at this bottom down in here, which I happen to be uh, very, very busy, by the time I saw it, it was already here. I missed the bottom by a little bit, so – this looks like that we're going to be taking a few point loss in this, but as opposed to taking a three three point loss right now, I would rather leave my stop. Well, I'm not going to have much of a chance, am I? <laughs> I want to put my stop in right above here, and if they get me, I'll be happy and call it a day, and then I'll not worry about because that would be a 50% retracement that whole move down, which would and of course the Fed's out there now too, so maybe they'll be out there talking about something that may or may not be uh, very very exciting. So. I hope that makes some sense uh, to what's going on here with these things. So glad to be able to share some of my information. Like I said, it don't work all the time, but it works some of the time, and that's all I'm looking for to have to do. Now, someone's uh, asked me, why didn't you risk two points on that? Two points is too small, even though at this point it looks like that would have been the right thing to do. But that's I have a game plan, and I stick to that game plan. And I don't expect to be right more than uh, two out of three times. And uh, if I could hit two out of three in baseball, I could still be playing for the Cardinals. But unfortunately, that didn't happen, and I'm not. So I do what I do well, and I do one thing, folks. I say it day after day is uh, live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless, and thank God for ABCD. By the way, I want to show you what I got as a gift from one of our listeners here. This is my new water glass. It's a Waterford Crystal. Folks, this glass weighs one pound. I can't believe it. It's like lifting weights. But it is really pretty and very shiny and keeps my sparkling water just nice and fresh. Okay. Question from somebody else is, how do I determine risk? Well, I determine risk by looking at the patterns. I mean... If a pattern fails beyond 1.618, it's sayonara. You know, who knows where it's going to go? I don't know. Nobody else does either. So there's the key. you got to be, just be determined on what you like to do. Like this particular pattern here, if it gets above this number here, 44.86, I'm will, willing to say no chance. I'll take that $300 loss and move on to the old – there it is right there. Hadn't got it yet, but it's real close. Yeah, it missed it by one tick. No, it's just, well, it, it, I have a stop in 86. Why didn't I get filled? It hit 86. Well, not going to worry about it, but I had a stop in at 86. It didn't hit 86. You'll, you'll, you'll see the flash when it comes up. Well, not going to worry about that. Move on here. Okay, let's forget about that, and I'll get this off the off the built, beaten path here for just a little bit. And, uh Let's see where we are with the old Bondolis because I think if any surprise comes, that's where – oh, i got to get this thing. Got too much junk in here, folks. Let me go here. i got a window. Get the tile vertical so I can – where are the bonds here? There, Here we are. Yeah, the bonds are moving up a little bit, so that's a uh, – yeah, get that out of the way. Hold on. Yeah, this is the one that I'm expecting big things from. Wherever the Fed decides to do something with interest rates, I really believe that they're going to they're 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 going to surprise some people and, and raise one more time, maybe two, maybe three. I don't know, but the bonds are there. Unless this is the big bottom, and I certainly don't think that it is. But the fact that it hit that number perfectly today, yesterday it missed it by a point, hit it spot on perfectly today. That means uh, something uh, pretty good, I think. Now I happen to be long the bonds, and I got my stop. 
right there. If he gets back down there again, I won't have anything to do with it. All right, take a break. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the chart here of the Dow E Mini. And as you can see here, we made the first 382 retracement here yesterday. Okay, and then we had another one that's just finishing up right now. That's a 3820 for this one. This is the equivalent to what we're looking at here in the S&P. But the S&P went up and made it, and I did lose. I did just get a fill at 4486, and so I did get out of that. Now, what I'm going to do now is if it doesn't considerably start to go higher, I'm probably going to resell it here at 4486. And just risk another another five cents, yeah, and because that is a possibility that it made the 50 percent, whereas the Dow Jones only made the 382. So that could be a sign of weakness that I'm willing to take advantage of. Remember, it's way below the opening price, so that also gives me a slight advantage, because if you're below the opening price, in short, your odds of winning are better than 75 percent. If you're above, it's minus 25 percent. So that's one of those that would be a good spot to take a. Take a look at it anyway, okay? So that's what we're watching here today. Um, live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And uh, try to do something for your neighbors each day, folks. I've got a full minute to go. 
if anybody has any questions, the only other question that I had today, I can't really answer. And that is, I made a comment about ARM, the uh, software company came out, and the fact that it was trading at 55 where it came out, that means everybody bought it since it, the initial issue on Monday uh, was to, uh, so Friday. Uh, those two days, everybody that bought it in those last two days has now lost money. So that's uh, that's the main thing that I was watching when I was uh, talking about that. That's all it was. It was about the number of people that bought it. I remember when Facebook came out, it was stuck. It came out and went all the way up to 42, and from 42 it went to 17, and then after that, it wrote the history books. Anyway, we'll catch you on the flip side tomorrow, folks. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Mm -hmm.